Hello and welcome to the Indicator Warehouse. In today's video, I'm going to be going over and discussing the new Omni Timer, which is this little guy right here. Now the Omni Timer can be used a couple of different ways. Uh, right now, I've currently got the Omni Timer set up with our mean Ranko bars. Now, let's go ahead and let's take a look and see how we need to set that up. For any non-time-based bar, it needs to be set to relative to average time setting right here. Now, it will also do count up and count down. We'll get to that later with different types of bars. But for this case, we need to have relative to average time for any non-time-based bars such as Renko's or range bars. Now, right now, I've got my time look back set to 10 bars, which is what this little speedometer is actually based on right here. I've got mine set to a period of 10, so it's going to look back 10 bars and it's going to calculate all the average times and then once we've reached the zero mark, then that means that it's taking longer than maybe we want it to be taking or the market is maybe slowed down. I actually worked with the programmer on this tool for one specific reason and I'm of the firm belief that the longer I stay in a trade the more apt it is to fall over on me or to reach back up and bite me in a case of say a short trade. So looking at this right here we can see that the market's moving pretty fast. This current bar and it's a mean Renko bar is 22 seconds old and it's just going to count up. This will tell me exactly how old each bar is. Now, if I run into a six range bar in this case, which is what I'm using here with the Hawk Micro Scalper, if I run into a six or a 10 minute bar, well then maybe it's too slow for me to be scalping and I need to just sit on my hands. But the cool thing about this tool is, rather than having a timer somewhere located down here, and then maybe price is trading up here, I've actually got my time set right here and my gauge is actually telling me how fast the market is moving. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at some other bars as well. Let's go ahead and let's compare the Omni Timer with the bar timer that comes with the standard NinjaTrader platform. Now you see that the times are the same and there's nothing wrong with the NinjaTrader bar timer. However, we're trying to look up here and we want to see when this bar is going to close so our eyes are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Why do that when all you've got to do is just slide the Omni Timer up and there everything is right there on the hard right edge right where it needs to be. Let's keep an eye on this and you'll see our gauge as we get closer and closer to this bar closing the gauge is going to start getting green. Kind of, a, kind of a cool little feature there of the Omni Timer. And again, it keeps it right up here in this area where we need to see it. We're not looking back and forth, back and forth, like we, like we typically would just using the standard bar timer offered by NinjaTrader. Again, nothing wrong with this bar timer. It works the same, it's just in a different location. Let's go ahead and then let's take a look at some range bars as well. Now we're looking at range bars and of course there really is no timer for range bars. So let's go ahead and let's remove that and we can see here that each bar is actually happening pretty quickly here. So right now this current bar that we're on is 13 seconds old and again we've got Omni Timer which we can float wherever we want on this chart and we can get it as close to where we want it to be. I mean, if we want it to be over here in this area, maybe up here, wherever you want to do it, this thing floats anywhere and it doesn't interfere with your charts or your indicators. This current range bar is 37 seconds, 38, 39. Oh, we just started a new one. All right, so now you see how and that it does work with range bars. Once again, maybe we're looking to take a short here trying to see how long each bar is taking. We can move our timer down here right in this area where it's nice and easy for us to see how old each bar is. 
Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at a tick chart. Now with the tick chart, we can do a couple of different things with the Omni Timer. We can either time how long it takes to make each bar, or we can actually do a countdown, ticks remaining. Also, we're seeing a countdown right here. This is a 150 tick chart. We can also count up. So right now we've got 67, oh, there's 68 ticks, 73. And again, that convenience of having everything right here where you need it. So remember, not only will it count up the ticks, it'll also count the ticks down as well as if, uh, and why you'd want to do this, I don't know, but uh, to each his own. If you wanted to do relative to average time, it'll tell you how old each bar is. One thing that I failed to point out on the time-based bars is that you can count up and count down as well. And again, I'm going to use Ninja Trader's time remaining bar timer indicator as a point of reference to show you. Right now, we're currently counting down. We see that we're matching up nicely. Again, there's nothing wrong with these indicators. This is merely for convenience. It, it saves you what I like to call eye time. That time it takes to look from up here, where your bars are, down to the bottom of the chart. Now the other thing is, rather than counting down like we see right here, we can also, if we like, we can count up. So you'll see that uh, we're counting up, whereas we're counting down down here. Really the choice is yours. Same place where you decide to put your Omni Timer. All right. Well, I hope that you have found this video to be helpful and informative. If you have any questions whatsoever, please contact me at ray at realityfuturestrading.com or any one of the team members at Indicator Warehouse. Thanks and have yourself a good day.